Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Um, today's video is going to be slightly different to normal. I normally do um, hair and hauls and outfits in the days, um, mainly because on my own channel I kind of believe YouTube rules are the same as pub rules. No politics, no religion. But I'm going to break my own rules. Um, so if you were expecting an outfit of the day, you can click off and I won't be offended. Um, to be fair, I'm not even sure if I'm going to put this video up because I am struggling with it slightly. Um, as many of you are aware, Margaret Thatcher, who was a Prime Minister in the, no, sorry, the first Lady Prime Minister in the UK, um, died last week. She was 87 and then she died of a stroke. She was Prime Minister in this country for 11 and a half years, um, which is three terms. She didn't complete her last term, she was voted out by her own party and John Major replaced her. Um, the part I'm struggling with is, I think in most cultures, if not all, you are taught to respect your dead. Um, you don't speak ill of the dead. Um, when somebody dies, you have a feeling of sorrow for them, um, for, you know, the people they've left behind. Even strangers, you know, that's kind of how most people are raised to feel. Because I think everybody, or most people, respect life. Um, and kind of, that's, that's what, it's a general thing that I think everybody has. So kind of on that topic, um, politically, I think I need to state I am not a conservative. Um, I, if I had to label myself, I would say I'm a liberal. However, I have a tendency to vote Labour in general elections purely because that's what you do, so the Conservatives don't get in. Um, clearly didn't work at the last general election, but that's where I am. Um, what I'm struggling with, um, as a country at the moment, there are very big demonstrations of people's dislike and distaste for, for Margaret Thatcher. There, you know, there are most certainly displays of from people that liked her. Um, obviously, David Cameron gave a glowing review. There's been politicians from all over the world. Um, president gave you know said something about glass ceiling for women um lots of celebrities you know there are definitely nice things being said however massively overshadowed by the bad things being said and i personally two weeks ago before she died would have very easily had a healthy debate with anybody and been able to give you my 20 reasons why I dislike Margaret Thatcher. However, now I'm kind of struggling to voice that. And it's kind of, it is the general conversation at the moment. Um, you know, yesterday there was horrific bombings in America. However, lunchtime today, they were still discussing Margaret Thatcher. And there is a very and I apologise if anyone out there finds that offensive, but I'm just kind of giving my commentary on the life that I'm experiencing at the moment. Um, and there is a really big divide. It is a very Marmite situation. You either love her or you hate her. And I would normally be in the hater camp. But I don't know where I stand, where is it right to say these things so close to the lady's death? Um... Don't get me wrong, <laughs> politically, ethically, morally, a, you know, completely other end of the spectrum to her. But I just don't know if I feel right bad-mouthing a lady that's just died. People would, you know, people say, she's got a family, you shouldn't, you know, things shouldn't be being said because she's got a family which she does and you know as an adult that lost has lost a parent I was 26 when my father died and it's horrific it is the biggest emotional pain 
I've ever felt. I've never had, it was horrible. It was horrendous. Tearing up even talking about it. It was the worst pain I've ever been through emotionally. But, you know, Mark Thatcher, arms dealer. Margaret Thatcher, racist bigot. Do I really want to feel sorry for them? No. And then there are people out there that say, well, she did good, she did good for this country. And I must admit, I don't really see it. Okay, so she gave people the right to buy their council house. But then they didn't build any other council houses. So this one generation, well, they're all right. They've got their council house. But then there are all these other people that now can't have homes. You know, they can't get into a council house to be able to buy one. You know, there aren't enough homes for people. And some would argue that's why we're now going through the bedroom tax. Sorry, that's Darwin, if you can hear a noise. Some would now argue that's why we're going through this whole bedroom tax um, issue because there aren't enough homes. If they didn't let give the right to buy or they continue to build council or social housing, then we wouldn't need a bedroom tax because there would be enough homes for everybody. Am I blaming everything in life on Margaret Thatcher? Possibly. Um, so, you know, there's that. Um, what's the other one that people keep on saying? That she gave the armed forces a 8%, was it 8% pay rise? I don't know. She gave the armed forces an 8% pay rise. You know, she also sent them to a war she invented. What support did she give to our troops when they were over in Northern Ireland? Cock all. And some might say, I'm obviously, I was born in 1982, so I wasn't in Northern Ireland when that happened. However, my father was. He was shot. He lived through it. But I fully know and fully am aware of the support we were given. Cock all. So, but again, you don't speak ill of the dead. Another one I quite like is um, people come saying, well, she believed in something and she stood by it. So did Hitler. I'm not saying Margaret Thatcher is as bad as Hitler, but Hitler believed in something. He stood by his guns. I do feel like I should say I don't celebrate her death. I don't think that's right. I don't think there should be street parties. However, um, I'm not... It's one of those things. I don't agree with what you're saying, but I agree with your right to say it. So I personally wouldn't take part in a street party to celebrate her death, but I understand why people do, and I agree with their right to display themselves like that. But then there's that in apartment that goes, no, you can't say that about a person that's died. It was on Newsnight, or it may have just been the news, it gave statistics um, that apparently 60% of the UK dislike Margaret Thatcher. However, 100% of the UK taxpayers will be paying for her funeral tomorrow. Now, I don't believe there's been an official figure released to say how much the funeral is going to cost. Um, and I've seen some massive numbers in the media, but I think the lowest that I saw was 10 million. 10 million. 10 million pounds for a woman that 60% of the country don't like to be buried. I just, it's not right. It's just not right. And it's not like that's what we do for all of our prime ministers. It isn't. You know, Tony Blair won't get that. John Major won't get that. Gordon Brown, pff, definitely won't get that. As a country, we're poor. Do you know what I mean? We've just made big cuts on benefits and it's just a joke. It really is a joke and it makes me angry. And then that's when you kind of feel right, I can vent and I can rah and this shouldn't be happening and blah, blah, blah. But then you go back to, she's just died and you don't, it's tricky. You know, there are people out there that love her, you know, rich people normally, cause that's who she made richer. 
She did. She made rich people rich and poor people suicidal. People blame her for the mines and privatisation and social housing crisis and obviously the poll tax and bedroom tax and blah, blah, blah. And it's just, it's something I'm emo emotionally struggling with because, as I said, two weeks ago I could have given you 20 reasons why I hate the woman and now I kind of feel uncomfortable discussing it and I kind of think that that's the kind of thing that I should address, which is probably why I'm doing this video. I know I'm not giving any answers and it's pretty much me rambling, which is why I feel the need to do it because you, it needs to come out. I'm going to kind of read you a snippet from something that um, Terry Christian posted. Um, for those of you who don't know who he was, he was a presenter in the 90s. Um, he's a journalist, um, definite non-Thatcher fan, um, and there's loads of it. So I'm going to give you a couple of snippets. I'm looking down at my, my phone. Um, Thatcher's dead. Let's not forget the misery she caused to millions. Her descriptions of Mandela as a terrorist. The destruction of our manufacturing base. Her privatisation of her national assets, including North Sea oil. So the rich got richer. Her friends like Saddam Hussein and the way she prolonged the troubles in Northern Ireland, the mother of all deaths and so much misery. Now, I've kind of shortened that because it, it was long. But um, I would say that's how most of us feel. There is so much hatred towards this one individual. And obviously, one woman doesn't control or one person doesn't make the entire party. But she had a whole lot of power. And just to kind of witness the level of hatred towards her, um, current number t number two in our official charts is Ding Dong, which is dead. Um, so people actually spent their money and downloaded that to kind of to be able to voice their feelings, I imagine. Um, and when I was kind of discussing my own feelings on the topic. A friend of mine said, well, you know, because I disliked her, but I don't, it doesn't sit right with me to, to kind of call her, call her out, because she passed. Um, and a friend of mine very <laughs> stated, well, you're probably not alone, and there's probably hundreds of other people that feel the same, that they can't voice their opinions, they're not strong enough or brave enough to go and be part of one of these street parties. But by paying 80, is it 89p to download a song, so nationally the world will it will be in the records. The world can see the week that Margaret Thatcher died. Ding dong, the witch was dead was number two in the charts. Maybe by doing that, they don't feel like they have to go out and publicly have that kind of evidence of their dislike for the woman. To recap. Um, Am I sorry she's dead? No. Do I feel sorry for her family? Yes. As I said, the losing of a parent is atrocious. It's the hardest, biggest emotional pain I've ever been through. So yes, I feel sorry for her racist daughter and her arms dealer son. Do I think she should have a state funeral? It's not being called a state funeral, but do I think she should have a funeral that's being paid by the taxpayer? No. Do I think it's a appropriate that my dog is licking his willy while I'm talking about her. Yes. Um, Darwin. Thank you. Am I emotionally confused on the subject? Pretty much. Do I think I'm going to get an answer by po posting this video? Probably not. Thanks for listening to the ramble. Bye bye.